Infections can affect all of us and can be unpleasant and in some cases fatal. They're especially dangerous for susceptible persons who are elderly and or ill. In most cases, service users requiring home care. This program will help to demonstrate how you, as a domiciliary care worker, can prevent the spread of infections when supporting service users in their own homes. The key to this is behavioural safety. In other words, recognising unsafe practices and implementing safe, agreed ways of undertaking tasks to reduce the risk of infection. Knowing how easily infections are spread will help to influence behaviour, so the individuals supported, their family, you, your colleagues and any other persons that you come into contact with during the working day, can stay healthy because of your actions. Come in. Morning. Morning, Alison. I've just popped in to pick up some more gloves and aprons. Ah, can you double up with Bridget today when she goes and sees Mrs Cooper? Uh, her daughter's rung and she's not well and she may need some additional support. Yeah, no problem. OK, thanks. Yeah, well, Mum's had sickness and diarrhoea during the night. The doctor's been um, and he thinks she's on the mend. <laughs> Infections are caused by bacteria such as MRSA and Salmonella. There are also other microorganisms called viruses, for example hepatitis and the norovirus, sometimes known as the winter vomiting bug. You must be aware of parasitic infections such as scabies and fungal infections such as athlete's foot. Infections have different symptoms, but sickness and diarrhoea are common to a number of them. Does the doctor know the cause? And is there anything we need to know? Well, the doctor said he's seen a number of these cases, including some of Mum's friends from the day centre. Judging by the symptoms, he thinks it's probably a virus and that she's just going to need plenty of fluids. I'm going to pop to the shop and get some juice and get her some magazines. Bacteria and viruses, commonly known as germs, are invisible to the human eye. So people and surfaces may look clean, but actually be contaminated with germs. If something is visibly dirty, it is highly likely that it will have a significant amount of germs on it. There are many home care tasks where infections are a risk. These include handling dirty linen, cleaning, food handling, personal care, clinical care, which may include support with dressings and handling waste. The types of tasks will be identified within the care package. Your organisation should have a handbook and policy to state agreed ways of working to prevent infections. The policy should detail the laws that are relevant. This includes the Health and Safety at Work Act and the Health and Social Care Act. Legally, you must take reasonable care for your health and that of others who may be affected by what you do or do not do and cooperate with your line manager on the prevention and control of infection. The scope of the tasks and your responsibilities should be detailed in the care plan. Often the extent of these will be dependent upon the time allocated with that service user. Specific risks regarding infections and known service user infections should be detailed within the risk assessment and care plan and you must be aware of these and your specific responsibilities to minimise the risks. The risk assessment and infection controls to lower risks are a legal requirement under the Management of Health and Safety at Work regulations. The environment and equipment will vary in each service user's home. It is unlikely that there will be colour-coded mops within the home. Therefore, you must be vigilant to undertake safe practices by disinfecting properly after using in one area of the home, such as the bathroom, and before starting in the kitchen. Your organisation's policy should state how they, as far as possible, will keep you free of and protected from exposure to infections that can be caught at work. Your training should include their procedure for the prevention and control of infection, if the service user has just returned from hospital, the infection status will be detailed in the discharge information. If there is an incident, you may need to ring your manager to ask for support or for additional time to undertake the task safely and sufficiently.